Jim, there were obvious parallels with what happened against St Mirren. Player sent off uh, an Aberdeen are ruthless um, four goals against St Mirren, five today, and, and it could have been more. It was some performance. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I know people will obviously talk about the fact that Livingston go down to 10 men and there's no doubt in the fact that that does make it easier for us but you know I have to I don't want to take anything away from the players because as I said after the St Mirren game you know I've been involved in games where teams go down to 10 men and it can be very very difficult to break them down you know you've got to be patient you've got to keep the tempo in the game you've got to keep the passing nice and sharp and crisp and I thought the players done that you know um, and we picked Livingston off at times and yeah, scored some really good goals should have had a, another one just before half time. Jaden's unlucky. It was a great ball in from Vinny around the back. Um, but yeah, I asked them to go out in the second half and be ruthless and be clinical and continue to be positive. You know, we want to try and entertain the fans here as much as we can and the, and the guys back home watching on Red TV. You know, it would have been easy at two or three nil to take our foot off the gas and just start passing the ball along the back and running down the clock. But we weren't happy to do that. You know, we wanted to continue to. Be positive in the wide areas and be ruthless in front of the goal. And um, as you said, you know we're delighted with five, but it probably could have been seven or eight. And it was a, a difficult first half hour, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I mean, eleven v eleven, there wasn't a great deal between the teams. And I said that in the um, in my pre-match press conference during the week that I don't think Livingston get the credit they deserve. Sometimes, you know, um, people think that we should just roll up against Livingston and turn them over quite comfortably. We know that they're a tough nut to crack. Um, you know, Davy Martindale, I think, deserves a lot of credit for how he's transformed Livingston from a long ball team into one that's now trying to play out from the back and they've got some good midfield players who are very comfortable on the ball. Um, so, yeah, it was quite end-to-end -end at times, but um, you know we managed it well. There wasn't a, a great deal between the teams 11 v 11, but of course, yeah, the red card has a, a serious impact on it and um, allows us to, to control the game then from there on, I suppose. Five goals uh, is delightful to watch, but a clean sheet will satisfy you as well. It's the clean sheet that pleases me the most, honestly. And you know, I know the strikers and the guys at the top end of the pitch will get all the credit for the goals. But you know, Kel Roos makes a brilliant save at nil nil. There was a foul in the build up to it. Um, you know, it happens sometimes. The referees can't see it, uh, but there definitely was a block on Ramadani, I think, and uh, which allows Livingston to have the free header. Kel has to make a a fantastic save, but. Um, you know, the two centre-halves for me I thought were excellent as well. The, the big boy Nublay up front for Livingston is a real handful, you know, and I've watched him giving teams the run-around at times. Uh, I remember in the game just recently at Livingston against Rangers where he caused them no end of uh, a problem. So I think Scales and Stewart deserve a huge amount of credit um, for their overall performance. And, yeah, clean sheets are huge because we will score goals. You can see that with the quality that not only we had in the starting eleven, but even the quality that we have coming off the bench. Morris, you know, young Ryan Duncan, delighted for him. Duke, again, you know, he came on against St Johnston last weekend for half an hour, was brilliant. I thought he was outstanding again um, this afternoon and he's desperate to try and get a starting slot at the moment but he knows he needs to be patient because he knows the guy who's got the jersey just now is, uh, is real quality and, um, you know, Majofsky has been outstanding since he's came in. Sometimes it takes foreigners a long time to settle in a different country and get used to a different culture but... He has been sensational, you know, not just in the games and training as well. He's been, he's been incredible. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a great group to work with just now. And you know, that's easy to say when you're winning. Um, you know, and the confidence is up. But you know, they are a great group. They're a very honest bunch, and um, they're desperate to do well. And that's the thing that pleases me most. Dingwall next in the Premiership, but before that, of course, the the chance to get to a, a League Cup quarter final at Annan on Tuesday night. Yeah, we've got a bit of travelling to do in the next couple of games, so the boys will be uh, with plenty of miles on the on the team bus by the end of next week. So um, yeah, it's uh, you know we're going to come in tomorrow and, and recover. It would be easy to to give the boys the day off and let them enjoy um, you know the, the 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 score today. But you know they are a very professional group. They want to come in. They want to recover properly. They want to get their massage and rehydrate properly. And so we'll be in in the morning um, for a recovery session, and then we'll travel down to to Annan on, um, on Monday evening and um, yeah it's going to be a it's going to be a tough tie there's no doubt about it of course we are huge favourites um, and you know people will expect us to, to win the game quite comfortably but you know I've been in the game too long to know that it doesn't work that way you know we're going down to quite a tight pitch Astro turf as well which sometimes can be a bit of a leveller so we've got to be prepared for it mentally um, there's no doubt we are a better team on paper but we have to make sure that we approach the game in the right manner, which, of course, we will do. Good luck with that one, Jim, and well done today. Thanks very much, Rob. Top man. Cheers.